Connection, Friday Night 205, bringing it on. Today... Shower today, dude? What? Are you serious? Yeah. I smell nice, man. I know I smell nicer than you. What? I'm serious. Not today. I don't work, dude. I don't That's produce true. sweat. I smell nice. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Friday Night 205, today, what are we talking about? Pocket screwdrivers. We've taken some of the... Uh, we were gonna include the gyro, but I couldn't find it. I know it's here somewhere, but Eric makes me be organized, and when I put stuff away, I never see it you again. You put something back where it belongs. All the if time, I was just you know sitting out, is. I would know where it was at, but it's gone. Whatever. I don't know. So basically, we're going over just uh, some of the popular uh, pocket screwdrivers here. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, "Well, why do you need a pocket screwdriver?" Uh, actually, the pros use them all the time. Uh, above head applications, tight area applications, uh, all kinds of goodies like that. So. Today, what we have is uh, we're starting out with the latest technology from DeWalt, which is the DCF 680. Is that what it is? Yes, it is. DCF 680, which is their 8 volt lineup, okay? Uh, the ARD 847, right here, from AC Delco, this is also an 8 volt product. Uh, AC Delco is one of the first to the 8 volt lineup. They've been around for quite a while. They're geared towards the pro. Uh, you know, if you're a homeowner, you're probably not going to use something like this. But it does have the highest torque out of all these units here, which we're going to go ahead and show you. And what Eric's holding is the M4. What's the model number on the M4, Eric? 2101. It's a 4 volt. So. 4 volt. Okay. So basically, it's half the voltage of these other two. But. Yeah, very good. I know. Huh. But it's comparative in size. That's why we put it here. You know, you don't necessarily need all that power when you're in precision mode. So uh, going over them right away, uh, these two are similar. This one can turn into a torpedo oh, mode. So they both got the same kind of ergonomics to them. Uh, this has a on-off switch right here, which is going to produce uh, up to, it says right on there, what does it say? 200 on 1 and 600 RPM on 2. And this is going to produce up to 430. And it's variable speed throughout the whole uh, range. Uh, the AC Delco right here is going to put out 380 rotations per minute. So I'll have a clutch on them. The AC Delco has a uh, five setting clutch. The DeWalt has a 15. And the Milwaukee has a uh, 20, 20, 21 sure, setting. So, and the big difference, too, also is. I don't know if you said this already, but these actually have switches to turn them on and off as gyros. Right. Three different ways to control this. And this yep. is going to be huge in this tool fight because, you know, a lot of people, and I, I'm going to be quite honest here, although I love this, this tool, I love the technology of it, I love the ergonomics of it, I'm starting not to like the gyro way of uh, engaging it. Only because when I go to a screw or I go to a situation, I'm already in the position where I want to be. Now I just want to apply power. So basically this tool is forcing me to get out of my comfort position. You know what I'm saying? Sure. No, which makes sense, but why don't you start out of the comfort position and go into the comfort position? Well, you could do that also too. But, but I know. I just, to know, me that's a hard... Yeah. Can, you know. Right. Triggers are where it's at. You know, I'm thinking triggers. Because, you know, all your torque and control is in your finger rather than your hand or wrist. Now, that being said, I'm sure there's some applications for this where or people might like it better. Yeah, you know, there's just, some people like that. It's personal preference. It really is. Uh, this has a battery fuel status gauge on it, a 3 bar. The ARD 847 does not. So, uh, and this has a fuel status also. That has four. fuel status also. So the 4 ball. Um, clutches are good. LED light on this is great. This has yeah, the one. Yeah, the ARD easily. has a nice LED at the bottom. The M4 does not have an LED light. So that's a big knock on that thing. Um, but not too bad, you know. Still, all three of them, it just depends on your application, you know. To go in underneath the car for torque, maximum torque, I think this thing's got like, uh, I want to say 98 inch pounds of torque. Don't quote me, I'll put it at the bottom. But uh, it's got some just massive torque coming out of an 8 volt. And it, it's designed like a drill to get up in there to drive your screwdrivers when you need massive amounts of power and control with the trigger. Right? Right. So, the D, but this thing might not fit into an area that this is going to fit into. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to... Well, what's the torque on that and the torque on this? Eric, I wrote them down, but I left it inside. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I you're rushing me, you're trying to get this done. So, no, I'm just trying to get out of here so I don't have to deal with you anymore today. Man, you're on your way out of here. So, Thank you. let's go back. What, what it's all about is, let's see which one's the most powerful, all right? So we're going to go ahead with the M4 first. Do you want to do it, Eric? No, go ahead, man. Okay, go first we'll go with the M4. Uh, should I go on first? I'm going to go on one speed because I'm going to, wait, I'm, two speed might have more torque. 
on this unit. I believe it does. So let's try it. So basically, here we go with the Milwaukee. And you got to remember, it's just an on-off switch. There is no control of that RPM. So it's either full 300 RPM or speed 2, which I believe is what, 600 RPM. 200 or 600. All right, here we go. Okay, so it stopped right there, so I'm thinking two. One well, got more torque. Yeah, but, hey, why are you laughing? I read somewhere on one of these I'm tools that two had more torque. Laughing? So we're going to go down to one, okay? Charge battery. Here Start we go. Start a screw. So now you're starting from. Wow, that thing almost fell out of my hand. 44 inch pounds of torque, I think we got going here. All right, you ready? So right there, just getting a little bit more out of it. So that's with the Milwaukee. That's how far we're gonna get that in with the Milwaukee, okay? So that's a four volt. Now we're gonna do a uh, 12 volt, or I'm sorry, an eight volt. We'll do the DeWalt here. So like I said, DeWalt's a little different. You have variable speed, but you don't have trigger control. So you're gonna have to, once you're down, you're gonna have to twist. I'm gonna take Eric's little hint here, and I'm gonna start in a more uncomfortable position, and then work over. Okay, I'm actually going to restart that one because it's definitely harder, Eric. You're the gyro. You're going to try oh, yeah, this no. next. You're trying this next. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It. You're trying it next. Shut up. Okay, so the clutch is out right about there. It gets a little further than the 4 volt from Milwaukee. Now let's try the ARD. Eight four seven. Make sure we're not clutched out. All right, so that was impressive, man, for an eight volt. Yeah, it almost drives it all the way. Uh, there is a little bit of uh, you know the head sticks up a little bit. Does it flush it? Yes. But for an eight volt, that is pretty impressive. So. Pretty crazy. Now it's Eric's turn. No, I'm all good, man. Why? You're not going to do it? Nope. So what always, is, you always get mad every single time. Alright, so. so what do we think? So we got power. Obviously the AC Delco is the most powerful, followed by the 8 volt uh, 12, or the 8 volt gyro. You know, which one's better than the other? It's hard to say. It just depends. If you're not going to need that straight line at all like that, this is, I don't like this. Right, part. yeah, if you want a drill situation and you just want power, but you want it in a compact package, AC yeah. Delco is the way to go. If you want a great LED light with a little bit of ergonomic, uh, you know, change, what do you, mm -hmm. what would you call that? From the to a straight shaft? Yeah, straight shaft. I didn't want to say straight shaft, because it, that's just, no. Because Eric gets oh, crazy. man, see, so you got those gay thoughts in your mind again, dude. Shut yeah, up, like, Eric! No, but this one's adjustable from the uh, pistol grip to the straight shaft, like Eric says. And then you got the M4. Yeah, which, so if you don't need all the power, and you don't like a gyro speed then the more. Right, like and like I said, you know, I mean, this has a lot more clutch settings on it, so it's going to be a lot more precise in certain situations. And the gyro does take getting used to. I mean, yeah. I wanted to like it so much, but it's just, I can't get used to that. I just can't. I'm a, I'm a pistol grip guy, and uh, that's what I'm going to say. So if that being said, if they came out with this with a trigger... I'd be all over it. Mm -hmm. So, personal preference, whichever you guys want, come with different kits. The Wall has a one battery kit, a two battery kit. The Milwaukee comes with two right out of the box. And the AC Double has a kit that comes with two batteries and also a compact LED flashlight. So, uh, this tool fight, I would declare the winner for power is definitely AC Delco. For technology, I would definitely say would be the Wall. And, uh, you know, just for all around. Great precision, small job task use, I would say the M4. But like I said, you don't get the speed control over the M4. It's either 200 yeah, it's either RPM or, or yeah, on or off. So that, you know, I would have liked to have maybe seen a, a variable speed trigger on that, but it doesn't matter. It does a good job. Alright, so that's tool fight. Very did, good. Did man. it really win? Or was that, was that a bad tool fight? No, it's good. You had power, you had this fun win. 
Innovation, DeWalt, Precision, One. Yeah. We're just showing it to you guys. We're coming up with new cool fights. Uh, you know, it's just hard to get it all together and stuff. I know there's another one coming around the corner that we're going to be shooting at Eric's house this week. So, uh, definitely some cool stuff. And even though it's not Friday, it might not be Friday, this stuff gets posted. Or maybe we should post it. Post it for Friday, but then people will watch it every yeah, day. Yeah, then Friday's so going to come around. There's going to be no tool fight. People are going to be like, what? Yeah. What? What? But yeah, that's the tool fight. Go ahead, check it out. Tooltonaction.com. Subscribe right now. Click subscribe and like this video. You're on drugs, boy? Not yet.